leaf. The leaf is a lateral, generally flattened structure born on the stem. The leaves develop from the nodes. Their main function is photosynthesis and food making. Axillary buds are found in its axil. All the leaves of a plant is known as phloem. Axillary bud later develops into a branch. Leaves originated from shoot apical meristem and are arranged in acropetal order. Leaf is divided into three main parts. A. Leaf base hypopodium leaves are attached to stem by leaf base. In some plants, leaf base becomes swollen and is called pulvinus which is responsible for sleep movement e.g. cassia, mimosa, bean. In some plants, leaf base expands into sheath sheathing leaf base e.g. grasses and banana, monocots. When the leaf base partially encloses the stem, it is called semi amplexical e.g. prickly poppy, calotropis procera, madder. It completely encloses the stem. It is called amplexical e.g. sonchus polygonum. Petiole mesopodium, the part of leaf connecting the lamina with the branch of stem. Petiole help to hold the blade to light. In H. hornea petiole swell and in citrus it is whinged. Petiole is modified in tendrils in nepenthes. In Australian acacia petiole is modified in phyllod. Long thin flexible petiole allow leaf blade to flutter in air thereby cooling the leaf and bringing fresh air to leaf. Lamina epipodium, it is a broad and flattened part of leaf. Its main functions are photosynthesis and transpiration. Shape of lamina are, acicular lamina is long and pointed, like a needle, e.g. Pinus lanceolate in this type lamina is pointed or narrower at the ends while broader in the middle, e.g. Bamboo, narium. Linear the lamina is long and narrow having parallel margins, e.g. grass ovate in this type lamina is egg-shaped having broad base with slight narrow top, e.g. Toshimum, banyan, china rose. Caudate its shape is like a heart, e.g. beetle. Oblong long and broad lamina, e.g. banana sagittate the lamina is triangular in shape, e.g. sagittaria spathulate the lamina is broad spoon shaped, e.g. Calendula orbicular or rotund in this types the lamina is spherical, e.g. Lotus. Elliptical or oval in this type the middle part of lamina is broad while the ends are narrow and oval, e.g. Guava. Oblique in this types midrib divides lamina into two unequal halves, e.g. Bignonia. Neem. Stipules. Leaves of some plants have lateral appendages on either side of leaf base, known as stipules. If stipules are present in leaf it is called stipulated leaf. If it is absent then leaf is called extipulated. Stipules are of various types free lateral they are independently present on both sides of leaf base, e.g. Hibiscus rosacinensis china rose. Interpetiolar when two leaves are meet oppositely at the node then nearest stipules of each leaf join with each other. In this way only two stipules of two leaves are found in place of four, e.g. Ixera, anthocephalus. Intrapetiolar in this type both stipules of a single leaf join with each other to form a single stipule, e.g. Gardenia foliaceous. These type of stipules form a leaf-like structure, e.g. P. Scaly stipules are dry, small and paper-like, e.g. Desmodium spiny stipules modified into spine, e.g. Sisyphus peri acacia. Ocrate when both stipules of leaf combine together and form a tube-like structure, it is called ocrate, e.g. Polygonum adnate both stipules are attached with petiole, e.g. Rose tendrilus stipules are modified into tendrils-like structure, e.g. Smilax bud scale protect the young bud, e.g. Fecus. Types of leaves. Foliage leaves they are usually green-colored and their main function is photosynthesis. Cotyledonary leaf, this leaf comes out during germination and helps in nutrition until the first leaf is not formed. Scaly leaf catafils, such leaves are usually dry membrane-like and they cannot perform photosynthesis. Bract hypsophil, bract are the leaves which is present in flower axis. Bracteol, these are leaf-like structure found on pedicle. Floral leaf sepals, petals, stamen and carpal are found in flower which are included in this type of leaf. Parient in some flowers, calyx and corolla are not distinct and are termed as parient and unit of parient is called tepal, e.g. Lily. Duration of leaf. Persistent evergreen leaves of such plants are found in all season and do not fall, shed combinedly, e.g. Pinus, 
Saraka indica, date palm. Deciduous all leaves of such plants shed at the same time e.g. Azadi Rajta. Kajukas leaves fall soon just after appearance or after opening of bud e.g. Rose. Leaf insertion, colleen leaves when the leaves are found on node of stem. Then these are called colleen leaves e.g. Maze. Hollyhock. Rummel leaves when leaves are found on branches. Then these are called rummel leaves e.g. Delbergia, Zizipus. Radical leaves during favorable season. Leaves develop from the nodes of underground stem and seem that they are developing from roots. This type of leaves are known as radical leaves, e.g. Radish, Turnip.